After Hurricane Adalia took out entire chunks of Pinellas County shorelines, the Army Corps of Engineers is waiting to see if it can come in and renourish the beaches, but there are some holdups. A9 Your Side's Trevor Sahaki joins us now live in Indian Shores with the story. There are some serious chunks of those beaches missing. There are some serious chunks, Josh, and the Army Corps needs all beach owners 100% to sign an easement. That allows the Army Corps access to the beaches. However, some property owners, like the owner of these beachfront villas behind us, say that they won't sign right now. I was stunned. For more than two decades, Katrina Hale has owned her Indian Shores vacation rental business, the San Glow Villas. The beach and having a beach does impact me greatly not just for protecting the infrastructure, but because I rent beach. But she won't sign the access agreement from the Army Corps of Engineers, allowing them to re-nourish the beaches. She said she doesn't like the public access and perpetuity language in the agreement. I'm not giving you rights to my property forever. I will sign the rights for you to come in for a year or for six months or for however long it's taken you to do this project. The Army Corps of Engineers said that language is necessary. That perpetual allows us, even after the life of the project is over, uh, to come back in at full federal expense and re-nourish a beach after a storm. Colonel James Booth told a packed crowd today at a beach re-nourishment meeting that the Corps would not be re-nourishing any beaches without a 100% agreement from all beachfront property owners. We'll hold to the policy that we need 100% uh, of the, re the real estate access so that we can move forward with the projects. And that disappoints some locals. You can't get uh, 10 people, 100% of 10 people, to agree what time the sun rose today. Neighbors said beaches are essential to Florida and need to be renourished, whether everyone signs or not. These are better beaches than they were before, and we need to appreciate that daily. And Colonel Booth from the Army Corps said that he would take those concerns about the language of that easement agreement to his leadership, but he didn't say whether it's likely to change or not. Live in Indian Shores, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side.